Hello, I'm Dark Devotee and welcome back to Bear With Me, episode 2. Now, in the last video, we went to see the mayor. This one. But yeah, we, we went to see the mayor and uh, he is acting a bit suspicious. But nevertheless, he told us to go to the casino, which we are not at. We are at the diner. Seeing it like this breaks my heart. Why would anybody do this? Don't, don't worry, know. doll. We'll get to the bottom of this. I have no idea who decided to destroy Shell's Bay either. I mean, whoever it is has just sick. Ugh. Why would you do such a thing? I don't know, but it's fire. Uh, but we need, we need fire and earth, don't we? Is there any way I can get fire from this? Oh no, we, we've got matches. Maybe matches is a, is a thing. I don't know. Hang on, let's let's go back to the before we do anything else in this video. Let's go back to the. <laughs> so you've been on fire here. Hang on, is that on fire as well? That looks, like, it looks like that. If in the in the preview, that's on fire as well. Hang on, hang on. No, everything seems fine here. Okay, so for anything else, I want to go to the Tigran's lair again, to the voodoo place, and I want to see if I can put the matches on the fire. Because if I can, then I know at least that I don't need to look around for any more fiery type things. Couldn't be clearer. Couldn't be. Okay, so matches and then put that on the fire in a minute. There we go. Hopefully we won't there. need that for evidence. I guess that's right. Yep. And all we need is earth and a love. But um, I don't know what that where I'm going to get those from. Let's go to the casino. Right. So yeah, we got told that someone was here as I suspected seeking out Tigran was a waste of time we came to a dead end literally and figuratively it got the doll mad I admire Amber she'll be a fine detective herself one day but sometimes she tends to rely on speculations too much I understand why she feels this way though seeing as we're still miles away from finding her brother CBG's tip about the steel mill, however, proved right on the nose, although we found some evidence, surprisingly overlooked by the ever-incompetent PCPD. I can't shake the feeling they were set up a little too conveniently. Hmm. Westpaw Casino matches and a voodoo trinket which suggest involvement of the infamous Reef King. <laughs> the King is as smart as he is ruthless. And it seems to me, leaving all that obvious clues around doesn't really fit the M.O. of a man who eluded the hands of justice for most of his life. Something was fishy about all of this, but it wasn't the shark. This whole red situation seems like a perfect opportunity for someone to hide their tracks. Someone with highly political ambitions. Daniel Mills is a politician through and through, no doubt about it. I've known Daniel for a long time, but knife to my throat, I couldn't tell you three things about him that you couldn't read in any newspaper. That's why I could never trust him, and I don't trust him now. If the pig and the shark think they can turn Paper City into their own political battleground at the cost of people's lives, I'll take them both down. And what I... are you doing? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Why are you sitting in the sound booth alone? Were you <laughs> oh, no. doing your diary thing again? It's not a diary. I needed some time to think. Can you close the door? Fine, can you hurry up? We have a case to solve. You can record your little diary later. <laughs> Will you just... God damn it. I lost my train of thought. Might as well just wrap it up. Relax, jeez. Take your time, Anne Frank. <sighs> she ruined it. Can you cut that out in post? Sure thing, buddy. I'll definitely remember to do that. <laughs> Anyways, all the clues seem to lead to the Westpaw Casino, so I'll play ball for now. Let's just see how all of this plays out, and eventually how deep fried this surf and turf dish really is. Hopefully, come dawn, we'll be one step closer to finding Flint than we are now. Alright. Just like me when editing, I tend to forget to edit out the little bits in between. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I've been watching it back like, later on or someone men mentions that I've missed a bit out. Like, I'll need to cut that bit out. <laughs> okay. The Tim. 
I care. Edward Elephant, <laughs> Zack Zebra, <laughs> Professor Penguin. Professor Penguin is actually something, something else. But Bunny Ben, Susie Sitch, <laughs> and Rhino Ron. I'm loving these names. Donny Donkey. Can I talk to any of these? Who's that, Ted? Edward the Elephant. He runs the Paper City Bank. All right. Who's that, Ted? Professor Penguin. Good man. Comes off as cold and distant, though. I reckon so. Okay. Carrot juice, £2.50. I'm in. Tim, I want some carrot juice. Please. So, and you care? Company policy. So you don't care for me? I don't know you. Fair enough. I'm Teddy Bear. I'm a private snoop and such. Anyways, can you let us in? It's an invitation-only event, sir. Did you just mispronounce the word, sir? Maybe. I'm not a linguist. Okay. So, what do we need to enter? In order for the player to continue, he can speak to the shark's goon once. After he doesn't let them in, they can go around back to the alley behind the casino. There are several boxes in the alley. What are you saying, man? Uh, I'm sorry. I get lost in my own... Um... Thoughts? Yeah, I was gonna say lines, but yeah. But you have to let us in in order to advance the plot. Fourth wall jokes don't work on me, guys. Move along. They are kind of hit and miss. Okay, fine. We'll be back. Bye, Mr. Henchman. So long, Mr. Amber. Miss Bayer. <laughs> okay, breaking the wall. Okay, let's go to the back alley and uh, there's boxes behind there. I assume we can climb up into a window or something. Or there might be an invitation there which someone decided to just drop. Just marked boxes, empty boxes. Stage equipment. Let's go for the marked These boxes. These ones are marked 13 and 14, respectively. Yep. Yep. I, I, I can. I can see that. Yep. Looks like instruments and lights and all sorts of stage stuff. Yeah. Cool. Empty boxes. Right. The boxes he was talking about. Some empty boxes. I feel like I still need to do something. What do we need? What we got? Chalk. There we go. <laughs> Fourteen. There, nobody will notice the difference. No, of course not. Okay. Rider. It reads only numbered boxes to be carried to stage. Hmm. Got right. an idea. I might. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, let's 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 get into the boxes, shall we? <laughs> I could just try the entrance door. That that might also work, but you never know. I feel like I still need to do something. You still need to do something? What do you need to do now? Shout through the door. <clears throat> knock knock. Who's there? Two. To who? To who? Oh. <laughs> What a dumb joke. You're dumb. Let us in, dumb dumb. What's the password? Password? What is this, a Bond movie? You need a password in the club from here, or you can go to the main entrance like a normal person. Up to you, buddy. And miss... Okay, fine. Is it... Blueberries? I like those, but that's not the password. Well, why not? Who's to say we can't make it our own password? Mm. I, I, I guess we could. Like some kind of special club. Yeah, exactly. And it'll only be the three of Yeah, we'll build a treehouse and you can be a door there, too. That sounds like fun. Yeah, sure. Can you let us in, special friend? Sure, if you know the password. <laughs> Forget it. Okay, so now what? Up to you, Willie. I wasn't asking you. I'm sorry. It's hard to tell because of the door and all. I don't know. Maybe we can scam our way in. I don't think we can falsify the clearance for this one, doll. Okay. So let's get creative. Let's look around here. Maybe we can sneak inside somehow. You know I can still hear you. Well, I'd never. Why don't you mind your own business? Um, that is kind of my business. <laughs> He's got a point. That is true. Go on, just just get inside the boxes. You know you want to hide hide in there. Song song comes along and pick you up. You know you want to. I feel like I. St Fine. What are we missing? These ones are. Yes, they are. Who's that tech? Susie. She's addicted to plastic surgeries. It's a miracle how she keeps it together. Her life? No, her face. <laughs> okay. 
Who's that, Ted? Miss Kalia, the cat, runs a beauty parlor. Could use a treatment herself, if you know what I mean. All right. Not helping me in what to do, though. What am I missing? Why can't I do this? I have... All I have is a... Itchy, really itchy chin. All I have is a... Coin, which isn't going to do anything. I'm not throwing my... Yeah, exactly. Swiss Army knife, but I don't Someone see why... Get her. Don't see why that's a thing. And the voodoo charm. Oops. But that's not going to do mm. anything. Nothing magical happens, no. So I would just get into the box and they'll carry you, carry us in. What do we need? Some like tape or something? Ah, oh, stickers. Hey, that's what I need. <sighs> right? That'll work, right? Are we political activists now? Don't be silly. I just like stickers. <laughs> stickers, that'll come in handy. Right. So I was just looking around all the different places to make sure I haven't missed anything. And yeah, stickers. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I can put the stickers over the numbers on the boxes and then hide in the boxes and get in. Hey, there we go. This is where it doesn't work and it really throws me off. Time to put Piggy's face on on the boxes. Right. Boink. Ta-da! The perfect camouflage. It really is. All right, let's get in the boxes. Because they're not going to pick them up at all. No, because they haven't got numbers on them. But After these you, there. Really, I mean, really climbing into trash. These really rugged-looking things. I'm definitely going to pick these up. With numbers drawn on by chalk. <laughs> so believable. Wait, are these the boxes we're supposed to bring in? Yeah, they have numbers on them, don't they? Seems a bit strange, though. Uh -huh. They look like trash. You, you know what's trash? Your attitude, Steven. Your mom didn't think so. <laughs> oh, real but sure. No wonder your dad left. Come on, <laughs> man. I was like nine. Oh, wow. That was uncalled for. What the? Be quiet. Hey, did you hear that? What? Dude. It sounded like a bright ten-year-old girl and an alcoholic <laughs> teddy bear. Oh, Your really? imagination, man. I swear. Let's go. I have band practice later. <laughs> okay. Shut up, Ted and Amber. Alright, we're, we're in here. This looks amazing. The crooked stage. This stage weird. is literally impossible. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Nuts. The whole, Let's just grab a few of these. The whole purpose, why? The whole purpose of nuts at like a bar and places like this is to make you more thirsty so you buy more drinks. Because obviously salted nuts dehydrates you, which just instantly makes your brain go, ooh, I need a drink. Never eat never eat free, free, free nuts at a bar or anything. Not unless you're willing to buy loads of drinks. Okay. They really don't serve their purpose here. I don't. It doesn't really make the place look any better. It's all the famous artists who performed here. Cool. <laughs> Mark empty boxes. Stage equipment. You really know about that. Okay. So what are we doing in there then? Main floor. Why not? Why do we need nuts? Maybe at some point. No, come on, Andy. Or just to munch on. You might get hungry. This looks like a lovely place. <laughs> Fiona I can Fox. Barely tell the sisters apart. That's Pure Fox. I think. Yep, Pure Fox. <laughs> Wally Whale. Wally works at the docks. I guess it's his night off. Theodore Turtle. Leo, he's a scientist. Doris. I couldn't think of one for whatever that is. It looks like a weird. Hippo crocodile type thing. It kind of m mix between a hippo and a crocodile. Hello, Dor. Oh my, Amber Ashworth, as yes. I live and breathe. Yeah, it's the good old me. Are you a special guest tonight? Um, sure. Why not? Sure. She's special, all right. Oh, and who's that? Really. You know who she is, but not who I am. <laughs> oh, I know. You're the famous detective Ned E. Bear. Yep, that's old Ned. That's it. It's Ted. Bless you, dear. Miss Ashworth, how can I help you? We came to see Mr. King. 
I'm afraid Mr. King is in his quarter. Doing something totally legal, I bet. Ah, uh, ever since Miss Jones left us, he's been more and more secluded. Poor dear, such a shame. Tigran? Well, yes, yeah, such a wonderful woman, Miss Jones. Kind, beautiful, and wise. So wise. Just like you, Miss. Wise. Her. Are you sure you know who you're talking to? Hush, Ned. The ladies are talking. <laughs> oh, for the love of... So Tigran and King are divorced? Do tell. I'm afraid so, miss. Such a shame. We went to see her earlier today, but we couldn't find her. I guess she wasn't home. Oh, you're looking for Miss Jones? Could you... Could you give this to her? She left in a hurry and must have left it behind. It was a very special gift from Mr. King. What is it? It's a heart-shaped locket Mr. King got her for her birthday. It has pictures inside. I just thought she liked to have. Sure, we'll take it with us. Thank you, dear. You're just so lovely. Okay, she's lovely and wise and all that. <laughs> Old lady, how do we get to King? I'm afraid you'll have to talk to his guard over there by the elevator. Poor Grotty, he must be so tired. And I bet he's hungry. Could you two get him something to eat Ups. if you find the time? Maybe he'll let you see Mr. King if you're nice to him. Maybe. Sure, I'll cook him something nice. As if I don't have anything better to do. Just be sure you don't use any nuts. They oh. make him very sleepy. That's... that's really specific. All right, we have to go. Doll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was nice talking to you, Doris. Oh, my sisters are not going to believe when I tell them I talk to the famous Amber Ashworth. And Ned. Don't forget about Ned. <laughs> okay, so you can, basically you can make the guard, whatever his name was, I've already got the name, uh, tired. That's always a good start. Kraken. <laughs> like, it's definitely is Release the Kraken! Or, you know, <laughs> rather, rather not. Yeah. <laughs> Better not. Okay, so, well, that is quite clearly going to be put in the centre of the altar. I still don't know what this food charm is, but you've got some nuts to make the guy sleepy. Let's. Oh, I should have looked at the, at the table first before going through. Might have had something interesting on it. Anything interesting, inter in interested here before I go through? Banana. Let's get some bananas. Let's just take this. Yep. Okay, so maybe I get an option whether to be nice and give him b a banana, or to make him sleepy with some nuts. I don't know. Oops, stupid. Clicked out of the game. Right, let's go. Hello, I would play with you, but I think it might be a little inappropriate. Grod. <laughs> hey. Hello, Mr. Sir. Can we just scooch past you real quick? This is a restricted area, sir and or madam. Please return to the main floor in an orderly fashion and enjoy the variety of our games. In West Ball Casino, Everyone is a winner. I'm sure you meant winner. I'm sure you're right. <laughs> right. Everyone is a winner. Uh, let us pass. We need to save the president. <laughs> What's this about president? It's always something to do with the president. Uh, let us pass free, please. Let us pass free. If you are. All right, late night. Never mind. We need to save the president. <laughs> Dear God, man. You have to let us pass the president's life. Man Ted, just give up. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Never mind. I'm glad I could help. Okay, um... <laughs> you Jedi mind trick, you sure. You let us pass. These are not the droids I'm looking for. And... Wait, that's not what I said. You wasn't? What the? You're even too stupid to hypnotize. Okay. Alright! Alright, the shift's here, buddy. You have a good one. It's always us that gets the late ones. Huh? I know, and I'm a mess. And the coffee here is just below any reasonable standard. Yeah. How do they expect us to work under these conditions? Uh, I'm having a hard time believing you two are bouncers here. Whoa. How come? Well, you're just so tiny. And she's a girl. Hey, so, so a girl can't be a bouncer? Yeah. To be honest, it would be the first one I've ever seen. Well, if you must know, I have a golden belt in karate. That's not even a thing. Girl can't be a bouncer. I could kick your ass. <clears throat> what? Uh, <laughs> nothing. Forget it. I know a girl who's a bouncer. Ugh. Actually, one of the bouncers around here, one of the clubs. And I could, I could be a bouncer. Ugh. 
I have strength, it's just hidden strength. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, banana or not? So, well, here's a he's he's a bit of a monkey, so I'll give him a you banana. You shouldn't play with food. Sure, fine. Here's some nuts. will just make a mess. All right, fine. Can we just like just sneak behind him or something? Elevator bun. That living mountain is blocking the elevator. Not entirely true. He's to one side of it, just can't get past it. Okay. We have some nuts and stuff. But, um. I don't know how to give them to him. To be nice, you know. So let's just say this. I'm Special Agent Mulder, and this is Special Agent <laughs> Scully. Scully. We're investigating a strange occurrence around here with them aliens and whatnot. We need to go upstairs to check for aliens. Sir, I mean, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but that was really stupid. <laughs> I, I can't believe... You have to, Dana. The truth is out there. Little known little fact about me. My my middle name's Dana. And yes, I am named... That, that Dana is named after Dana Scully. My mum and dad were massive X-Files fans when they had me and my middle, so my, my middle name became Dana. Yep, that's a little known fact, a little known fact there about me. <laughs> middle name's Dana. But, um, I don't know, let's just go back for now. See what else is around, we might be able to explore the rest of the, like, the main casino area. Maybe. That has to be, that has to be more, like, more things this way or something, right? Can we go more, can, can we go further this way? We can go further this way, okay. Be -do, be -do, be -do. We only have what like, one coin, so it isn't like we can really <laughs> we can really gamble our way. I don't know, we could try I guess. Let's go to an empty slot machine. Coin. Use coin on slot machine. You know, this might be the lucky coin. We might win something. Alright. Come on, Come on. We're gonna do this. Seven? Seven? Wow! We won! <laughs> we won? How much did we win? What did we win? <laughs> we won a token! Oh, of course, it's not be real money, is it? Um, okay. Hey, Flora? Flona? Flora? I can barely tell the sisters apart. That's Fiona, I think. Fiona, even? Wait. I read. I, I saw that as an L, not an I. Uh, okay. Winston Wolf? Mr. Wolf usually keeps to himself. He solves problems. I bet he's a Hufflepuff. Because he huffs and he puffs. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Percival uh, works in investments. Seems like he's doing a fine job. Alright, what do we do around here? And look at the aquarium. Pretty. Look at the pretty fish, Ted. He's so pretty. Sebastian Sloth. Sebastian? He's a workaholic. He sure looks busy. He really does. Fernando is one of the high rollers. Thanks to that inheritance. It's like so many cameras. <laughs> like seriously, you don't need this many cameras, surely. I feel nervous around you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do we do? Oh, that, what do we do? Okay, so we got a we got a token at least. So we can't, can we like turn that in at the main country bit? I don't know how casinos work. <laughs> Never been one, they, and they don't interest me at all. Um, token. Could we do this? Could we do this to Doris? Get this Doris. So we want this token thing. Can we exchange it for some cash? Oh no, that's our from stroller to high roller token. It's only good for our ice of spades, ice cream. It's for the kids. Wait, okay. you let kids gamble here? Oh yeah. no, that's just one machine, so they don't bother their parents. We also have balloon animals. That's terrible. You're basically teaching kids how to get. You know yeah. what? I will speak to Mr. King about it. It really sounds a bit shady. You think? So anyway, you want your ice cream? Um, yeah. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Chocolate. I don't know. Because <laughs> oh dear, how about I just give you both? Yeah, but don't tell anyone, okay? I would take one between the eyes before I'd rat you out, Doris. Oh my, okay then, I guess. Okay, 
Cool. So we got we got one scoop of and one scoop of chocolate. Cool. Okay. Why do we need this? I see. I'm one of the weird people and would choose vanilla over chocolate. I'm wrong. I know. <laughs> but prefer vanilla over chocolate. I'm not a massive chocolate person. Which is just weird. Can we can we get some ice cream to the, to the I'm lovely sure guy? We can find a better combination of flavors. Oh, well, what if you slice up some bit some banana? Food. What if you what if we put some nuts on it? It'll just make a mess. Sure. What there. if we split now it? Now it's peeled. There we go. I don't know why we need a knife to peel a banana. We do have hands, but you know, whatever. Can I add banana? That's perfect. It just needs the final touch. Because now it's just it, now it's a banana bite. Whatever you want to call it. Don't like bananas, so I wouldn't know. And then nuts. I need to eat this like right now. It sounds it's not good. for you. Besides, you're allergic, remember? Can I just have a little, please? You can take me to the Paper City General later. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, okay. I assume we, we, assume we give this to Grog now. But I'm, uh, bananas make me sick. Very, very sick. I can't eat bananas. Hey, guy. You look like you could use a break. You hungry? Oh, is that a banana? Sp it sure is. is. Can, I, can I have some? You can have all of it. Enjoy. Banana split, that's the one. Banana boat's probably something Thank really you so something much, Peter guys. I love it. It's so delicious. Mm -hmm. oh. it tastes like mm -hmm. <laughs> There you go, little buddy. Sleep <laughs> sleep tight. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, right away. <laughs> well, that just happened. Let's go upstairs before he wakes up. Let's <laughs> feed the monkey. <laughs> I just want to pop that little snot bubble. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Well, I am going to save it here. And I shall go use the elevator in the next video. So thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and I shall see you I shall see you all in the next video. Bye! Woohoo! <laughs>